Here is the media and PVR menu for Mini HD SE. Hit menu and then you go to media. This is a big improvement over our older boxes and the way you can sort your media. If you're looking for your PVR recordings, you go to record. There's nothing on here, unfortunately. For uh, you know movies, you know videos you've uh, downloaded or whatever that you have on your flash drive, hit movies. And that's the single drive I have plugged in here right now. And I think the only media I have is this one. But you navigate through here and select your video to play it. Does uh, you know most of the standard uh, MPEG-4 formats. Music be the same thing if you had uh, MP3s on here. This would uh, just show you those, or uh, JPEGs if you like looking at your pictures on here. Now, PVR settings is where you configure everything for your satellite recording. Set your time shift offer on here. You need a much faster drive than the little old flash drive I have uh, hooked up to do that. Uh, time shift to record. Record as scrambled. This really doesn't matter for North America. Record type PS, TS, or TP. I'd recommend using PS or TS. Probably TS works best. TP records the entire transport stream from the transponder, so it makes really huge recordings. You don't want to do that unless you need to make a recording to send in for a problem. Jump step, this is uh, how far when you're uh, time shifting or going through a video, when you hit the button, how far it'll uh, jump ahead per button press. This allows you to set different drives for uh, recording and time shifting. Disk management. Uh, so you can uh, format, yellow key is the drive information. The really cool feature is the blue key for USB speed test. As you can see what this is saying is this old USB drive will only write at 21 megabits per second, which isn't very good. It will do uh, uh, a little bit of time shift for an SD channel or record an SD channel. It won't do both. Press the red key. Run a speed test. I recommend doing it three times and averaging because it'll vary a little bit. With a, a bigger actual hard drive we get much higher speed and be able to do a lot more with it. Remove USB device. This is for safely unplugging it. The easier way to do it is uh, when you're outside of the menus there's a USB eject key near the top of the remote. Hit that and then you can eject a drive. 